Hi everyone, welcome to my first video of October, or my first kind of official video of October. If you didn't know, I'm going to be trying to do as many videos as I can this month. Um, I'm aiming for about 20, it might be less, it might be more. So remember to subscribe, where's the subscribe button down there? Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything that's going on this month. Okay, so let's get on to my favourites of September. First, I'm going to start off with the makeup things because foremost this is a beauty channel and I'm going to start with my face obviously because that's where you put your makeup okay first thing is the base that's what I was trying to get a hold of actually not my face the base of the whole thing um is this little combo I know it's kind of a bit early to be getting into the heavy coverage matte finish foundation but I've been mixing, um, yeah, this Revlon Colour Stay, which is like medium, it's matte, it's your typical winter foundation, and mixing that in with this L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Primer. And this is basically just, a, it is really watery, so you need to kind of shake it. This is basically just, um, I don't know, I've got lights on, so I don't know whether it's going to quite show up. Um, I'll insert a picture if it doesn't. And this is kind of like Max Strobe Cream. You can see that there. It's like a really nice illuminating primer. And that just blends in so nicely with um, foundations like this, or any foundations really, but it's really nice to blend in with a foundation like that because it just makes it more lighter and more fresher. Um, it just gives that healthier, um, natural looking glow that I don't, obviously a lot of people do love this, so I don't like, and I, I do like this on its own, but I just think, I just wonder why I never used this together um, before, because I just think it's, yeah, they work so nicely, and that's what's so good about a matte foundation, because you can have the, um, you have the chance to use it as, as a matte, or just by getting this, I think this is about seven or eight pounds and you can get them on offers and things like that, money off or what sort of stuff and boots or super drug. But when you work them together, that's what really makes a really good foundation, in my opinion. So yeah, really been loving that. Um, next thing is a MAC product and it is this mineralized skin finish. This is in Star Wonder. And this is actually one from last year. Again, I don't know if that's actually going to show up true to colour because of I am in artificial lighting. And yes, this is just a really shimmery um, but pigmented, really nicely pigmented face powder. As you can see all the swirls and everything in there. Um, really nice. This was from last year's collection, the, um, was it the Stargazer collection, I want to say? Yeah, they're all like, um, the sort of like solar system theme. And yeah, this is Star Wonder. And I've really been loving this, um, just to pop with a big fluffy brush, just swirl it around on my cheek, on the apples of my cheeks and, um, sort of back towards the back of my cheekbones. And it just gives a really nice, fresh natural healthy looking glow again all this sort of glowy stuff is really good for this sort of time because you you want something there but you know it's not summer anymore you don't just want to go in with a tinted moisturizer you do want to have some sort of base but you're not quite into the deep mattes and heavy foundations of the winter time yet so um august is actually probably one of my we're not in august Autumn is probably one of my favourite um, times makeup wise because I think there's such a good transitional period where you can wear bright colours still but you can go towards that darker, deeper colour palette as well. So yeah, I really love this time of year for makeup. Uh, the next thing is again, oh, so again I'm still hanging a little bit onto the summer. It's this sleek face contour kit. Um, this is in the shade medium. Mine's actually broken because I dropped it. Um, mine's in the shade medium, which is slightly too dark for me. As you can see, there is a contour powder and there is a highlighter. 
Um, I haven't really been using the highlighter. I've been using the um, contour, which as you can see is really, really dark. Um, yeah, that will definitely show up on camera, no doubt about it. Um, but what's really nice, as you can probably see, it actually blends really nicely, as a contour powder should. And um, I'm going to probably be doing a video um, with an updated makeup um, not tutorial as such but my sort of get ready with me sort of type video with how I'm wearing my makeup and it will probably include a lot of these products because I've really been loving them and I just really love that bronzy as if you've just come off holiday look and so many people have been saying to me like oh you look really brown like oh have you been on holiday like actually saying to me I'm like hmm definitely sticking with this uh yeah and also it's got a really good as I say, like a really good colour payoff, really good lasting power, and um, yeah, I think this is only yeah, actually, I think it's gone up because I have had this for quite a while. Um, I want to say probably about eight, everything's eight pounds to me, I'm not quite sure how much this is actually. I'll leave links for everything if they're still available down below so you can find out prices and availability and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, really been loving that. The last technical sort of faced makeup product is something that has been raved about quite a lot already and to be honest I didn't really believe the hype I bought this kind of just because I saw it and I thought oh should I and I've absolutely been loving it and it's the Maybelline Baby Lips um this is in the cherry one you can see it's this really bright cherry colour it's on my lips at the moment There you go and yeah they obviously really nice fun packaging the sort of like graffiti sort of style different colors they are basically a tinted lip balm except for they've got quite a good color payoff for a tinted lip balm and um when you first sort of put them on they're very soft they make your lips feel very soft and smooth and um like very moist sorry that was a horrible word and um you know to me when i first tried it i thought oh these just they're just like vaseline they feel really nice but are they actually doing anything and i've actually really noticed a difference without even realizing it i have noticed a difference that my lips were in october now my lips would have been chapped and dry and actually no that that my lips actually do hurt when in the winter i mean it's probably not now but they do actually start to hurt because I do have very, very dry lips. I haven't felt that at all. Even when I'm not wearing this, I, I just notice that my lips are in such a better condition than what they would normally be at this time of year. And it can only be this because this is the only thing that I'm really been using. So, um, yeah, I've really been loving this. I think that I've actually picked up the best colour, to be honest. Um, there is one that doesn't have any colour. And there is a pink one and maybe another one I can't quite remember but I think I did personally pick up because I was going to go actually and pick up the pink one and the and the plain one and then when I looked at them I thought mm, I wasn't quite sure um but I would definitely definitely oh it's falling out my hands I would definitely repurchase this one if I'm to lose it or it'll, if it runs out I will definitely buy this again because it is so good the colour is amazing the quality is amazing and it is literally I think it's three pounds three pounds so so good um next thing i was about to go nail oh wait, i have done that for nails and it's not on my nails i literally took it off yesterday because i'd worn it for so long and it was chipped and it was horrible and it wasn't a good representation of um this product but it is this model's own it's the shade bubblegum which is from the neon collection and it's the bright pink one I think it might be coming up a bit purple on camera but yeah it's really nice obviously neon matte pink um yeah I bought back in my haul quite a long time ago I bought the whole of the neon collection because there was an offer blah 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 I'll link it below if you want to know more and um yeah and this one is actually my favorite out of them I think it's got really good lasting power it does, I'm going to do a full review so I can sort of explain this in more detail. Again, when I do that I'll put the link below. Um, 
it chips really weirdly yeah it doesn't chip as a whole it just chips in little bits it's re it's really really random and so it's just these bit in this color just bits of pink you just see dots of pink everywhere it's just really random but anyway um apart from that i haven't used it with a top coat though to be fair but on its own even even on its own it's still really really good really good color lasts a long time uh good price even if you pay full price um yeah just really really nice really been loving that again i'm still hanging on to my summer colors i know i know i'm sorry but yeah really really good hair product now and it is this donut i think i mentioned a donut at least once a month but i've really been loving them i don't have my hair in a donut today I? but um this hasn't really been a good representation has it um but yeah i really love putting my hair in a donut it's quick it's easy the way that i actually put my hair in a donut i don't tie it up and then do it and fold it over i've got too much hair it's too long to do that um so i actually do it a completely different way if you want to know the different way that i do my hair and so it's lays securely for long hair then um leave me a comment down below or thumbs up this video or something like that so i know that you want to see a tutorial on how i get my hair in a big bun on top of my head the unconventional way the next kind of representing the brand this product because I've just loved everything and it is these new look boots Let's sit back so you can see properly yeah it is these really nice boots so from new look I've been loving new look at the moment they've brought out some really good things this season um, I think you know the products really really strong that they've got and yeah yeah really really good stuff uh, yeah, so these cutout boots, you can see there, cutout, it's this tan colour, they do them in black as well, I was going to get them in the black, um, but then I thought this was kind of, they're a bit of a different boot, I've got sort of plain black boots, so I thought, um, as they're a bit different, I'll get them in not your average black, so I've got them in the average brown. Um, yeah, so there's gold detailing with the buckle, cut out on this side as well, and then the black heel, um, yeah. I'll leave the link down to these below as well if you can find them online. And yeah, they're really, really nice. I think they were about £22 from 225 something along those lines. Really, really nice. I forgot to put them in my haul, actually. Um, I knew I forgot something from there. But yeah, so the brand as a whole have been loving New Look and those shoes in particular. They are comfortable up until a certain point and then suddenly, boom, they hit you. And you're like, oh god why have i worn these but um yeah they are really really good if you they're really good statement fashion piece as well i really really like them and then on to more kind of random favorites for september my birthday happened in september Woo! i am now 22 years old i had to think about that actually Woo! um yeah i am now 22 years old i did have a birthday literally a week ago um yeah so my birthstone is a sapphire i'm a libra and all that sort of stuff and yeah i had a really good birthday really enjoyed myself i, I didn't do anything big in particular well um i didn't like, have a big party or anything like that um i'm gonna be doing a video sort of with what I did and sort of showing you some photos and stuff like that from what I did and maybe just some other little random bits that I think you'd like to see that I got for my birthday so it won't be a full haul um, unless you, you want to see that let me know um, but I'll just show you the things that I think you would be actually interested in not just rambling on about random stuff like I am now but yeah I'm going to be doing a video at some point and explaining to you all about my birthday and what else for random favourites? I have really been loving the fact that Christmas is coming. That wasn't meant to rhyme and I don't actually think it did. But yeah, in random shops the little Christmas things are kind of sneaking in. So everyone's getting excited. Well, I'm getting excited. Um, I had a, what was it? It was a chocolate snowman from Sainsbury's which was kind of like this moussey um, marshmallow thing covered in like a layer of chocolate from Capri's. I really I don't have the wrapper. Sorry, it was ages ago. 
but I was really loving that when I had it and I want to go back and get some more but I want to restrain myself it's not quite Christmas yet so I, I'm loving the fact that Christmas is it's slowly coming isn't it I'm, I'm getting really excited I've just been loving life this this month really um, I had a good month I've spent it with a lot of friends and things have really progressed for me actually in September September was a really good month for me um, in my job that you know that I started a few months ago I feel that I've really settled in I've met some really good friends there and um, yeah it's been really really good um, very hectic very busy but um, also quite rewarding as well so yeah I've had a really good month let me know how your month has been whether we've had a good month we've had a bad month let me know and yeah I think that's all really I don't want to keep you for too long my ramblings but yeah I'll see you in the next video